Hello, welcome back to the channel. And this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings. I generally like to talk a lot of bollocks about tabletop gaming in general. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a real time game that really did break the mold when it was first released a few years ago. We're going to be talking about Escape Curse of the Temple. And in this game, you'll be stuck in a temple. You'll be trying to escape the temple before the time runs out whilst trying to accumulate as many gems as possible. That will make it easier for you to get out of the temple alive. So in this video, we're going to be giving you a very brief overview of the rules and telling you what we do like, what we don't like. Then we'll come back and we will tell you whether or not Escape Curse of the Temple is worth your time of bother today and in the future. So remember, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. Leave a comment in that section down below. We'll see you after this. So, Escape Curse of the Temple, how do you play this game? So this is a real-time, semi-cooperative game where you're going to be rolling dice as fast as you possibly can to generate icons that will allow you to take certain actions in a game. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take the start tile, dump it in the centre of the table, and then you're going to construct a deck from the remaining main tiles and basic tiles. And you're going to put the exit tile somewhere near the bottom so you know when it's roughly going to come out, but you don't know exactly when it's going to come out, right? You're going to put two tiles next to the start chamber. You're going to put all the player's adventurer tokens on the start chamber. And then you'll populate the gem depot or depot if you're one of our friends from North America with a certain number of gems dependent on how many players are playing the game and then what you'll do you'll take two remaining gems and then you'll place them next to the gem depot and these can be used as a sort of a bonus action during a game so this game comes with a cd soundtrack if you haven't got a cd player then you can always use an eight track recorder or maybe a 78 rpm gramophone if you have one lying around each player is going to be allocated five dice and you'll see that on these dice there's certain icons you've got the adventurer icon you've got the torch icon you've got the key icon and then you've got the black and the gold mask right so during this game like we said everyone's going to be rolling these dice as fast as they possibly can and you'll be using the icons to take actions so some of the actions that you can take in this game you can enter a chamber what you'll have to do you'll have to look at the icons that are next to the chamber that you want to enter and then you'll have to roll those icons on your dice and then that will allow you to enter the chamber, right? The second thing you can do is that you can discover a new chamber. You'll have to roll two adventure icons and then you'll take the first tile from the stack and then you'll place it on the table, but you'll orient it entrance to entrance. If any of the entrances are blocked, then you ain't gonna be able to put the tile on the table, are you stupid twat? So the next action you could do is you could activate a magic gem chamber. What you'll have to do, you'll have to roll keys and torches. You'll take one of the gems from the gem depot and you'll place it in front of you. This has an effect at the end of the game because the more gems that you get from the gem depot, the easier it's going to be to get out of the temple with your balls intact. So the next thing that you could do is you can escape the temple. You'll have to roll as many keys as there are in the gem depot plus one. And if you do escape alive, then you'll be able to gift one of your remaining dice to another player that's still stuck in the temple, right? So the last thing you could do is you can provoke a turn of fate. What you'll be able to do is you'll be able to give up one of the two gems that you set aside at the beginning of the game. You'll be able to put it back into the gem depot. Then all players will then be able to roll all their dice that are cursed and bring them back into the game. So like we said, this game lasts 10 minutes. There's a soundtrack that you are going to be playing in the background. This soundtrack triggers certain events in the game. The first thing you're going to hear is one gong and then you'll hear the temple closing. This tells you that the game has started and it sounds a little bit like this. That's okay. That's okay. So the second event will be triggered by two gongs. And this tells you that you will have to hurry back to the start tile before you hear the gongs again, right? So there's no point in hanging about. You've got to push your way past all the tossers and get back to that start chamber as quickly as possible, right? So the final event is three bangs of the gong. And this will tell you that the temple is going to start collapsing and you better get a move on pretty sharpish before the temple collapses and you Die. So the game ends when the timer runs out. If there's anyone left in the temple, then you lose. And if all of you make your way out of the temple before the time runs out, then you are going to win a game of Escape Curse of the Temple. So what do we like about Escape Curse of the Temple? So the first thing that we really like about this game is that it has a frenetic and fast pace that is 
quite unique to this sort of game. There's not really many other games out there that get my heart rate pumping as fast as this one, you know what I mean? This changed the nature of real-time games for us. Probably the last real-time game that we actually played was an old Mattel game called Break the Safe where you're given 30 minutes to acquire certain items that are going to allow you to get into the main chamber and open the safe up, right? But that was more of a slow paced thing. This one feels like somebody has shot speed into your backside, right? And you're going hell for leather trying to make this game work, right? And we really do love that about this game, the way that it really does drag you through a hedge backwards, you know what I mean? So the second thing that we really like about this game is the massive amount of expansions that have been printed for this game. Queen Games have been supporting this one since day one. I think there's now about 19 expansions for this. Three sort of, I say big box expansions, they're not really that big, but bigger box expansions. And then you've got loads of mini expansions that are called queenies, right? These add different things to the games, like different traps, or there's a quests expansion, there's an illusions expansion, and the queenies add pit traps and all sorts of different stuff. So this makes the game really, really replayable, you know? So the third thing, third thing that we really like about Escape Curse of the Temple is that the 10 minute gameplay is just enough before my brain starts to explode. Having an attention span deficit means that I could play this game in fits and starts and it never really grates on my head. The game is easy peasy to set up. I mean, the, the hardest part about this is like faffing about with the tiles at the beginning, but once you've got that down, you slap down the start tile, slap down two tiles either side of it and away you go. So the final thing that we really like about Escape Curse of the Temple is the soundtrack not only adds to the theme of the game, but it also adds to the amount of tension that you are going to get in the game. I mean, if you imagine playing this game with just a sand timer, and there is one available in the game, funnily enough, then this wouldn't have the same impact as it does with that timer. That is constantly sort of hurrying you along and pushing you and prodding you in the back, telling you to get your ass in gear, right? And the soundtrack you get out of the box isn't the only soundtrack that's available. Queen Games have given you loads of different alternative soundtracks that are available on their website. You can even go on YouTube and download some comedy soundtracks like they've got the sort of a Benny Hill soundtrack and they've got the Indiana Jones soundtrack as well. So the fact that there are so many soundtracks available means the game isn't going to get that stale that quickly. So what don't we like about Escape Curse of the Temple? So the first thing that we don't like about this game is I can't play this game with everybody that I would like to because where it is so fast paced and it does get your heart pounding quite a bit, there's a lot of people I know that just aren't going to want to sit there and experience this sort of thing. Like my wife, for instance, she will not play this game with me because she doesn't like that feeling of panic. And I don't blame her. Right? A lot of people aren't going to like that sort of feeling. Basically, people who are prone to heart attacks should not play this game. So the second thing that we don't like about this game is that the expansions that we talked about in the pro section are very, very difficult to find. The three medium box expansions that we talked about I don't think they're available anymore and you're going to have to go onto a website that we're not going to talk about on this channel to find some of the smaller promos, right? There was a Kickstarter for a Escape Big Box version, but I think it's last year sometime, so that might still be available. But the trouble is, is once you've got the core box, you are going to want to get as much stuff for this as you possibly can, right? Because it is that good. And the fact that a lot of this stuff you simply are not going to be able to get hold of is a real tragedy. So the next thing that we don't like about Escape Curse of the Temple is that where this is such a fast paced game, mistakes are bound to happen and these mistakes cannot be unpicked. There's a strong possibility you're going to be rolling certain symbols and you're not going to remember what you rolled or you think that you've rolled a combination that you're going to be using and you haven't. So where this game is timed, you're not going to be in a position where you can check and double check what you've rolled. So if you do make a mistake, then you're going to shoot yourself in the foot, right? So the final thing that we don't like about this game is that the random nature might not be for everyone. There's plenty of people we know that won't play this game because it is simply just rolling dice and hoping that you get what you can get. And it can be on occasion quite frustrating rolling the dice and seemingly all you're going to get is the cursed dice and you're not going to be rolling the adventurous symbols that you need to progress through the temple. And if you don't get back to the start toll before the gong sounds, you're going to lose one of those dice permanently, right? So this game can be an exercise in frustration, but that's sort of alleviated by the fact that it only lasts for 10 minutes, but that still has put people off in my experience. So to summarise, is Escape Curse of the Temple still worth your time and bother today and in the future? 
So we're going to say, yes, this is an excellent real-time game that really did change the nature of real-time games that came before it. It's essentially a heart attack in a box, right? It's not for everyone for the simple fact that it could be construed as being a little bit too random and certain people aren't going to like the frenetic nature of this because it can take a toll on your health, right? It could do with maybe some special abilities for the characters because they don't really have any identity they're all the same and there's nothing to really differentiate between you and the people you're playing a game with if you're looking for something that is a little bit more relaxing then maybe take a look at project elite you're going to get two minutes in between rounds to sort your head out and take a breather or maybe take a look at break the safe a game from yesteryear that is real time but is more of a leisurely affair right or maybe have a look at magic maze which is a real time game but you won't be able to actually talk to the people you're playing the game with right so that's a, another slant on this real time genre so there you go that's escape curse of the temple remember if you're new here then please consider subscribing to the channel leave a comment in that section down below and we'll see you next time.